Hello everyone. This video will take you through sorting in Microsoft Excel. And when I when I speak about sorting, it is discussed in three different concepts. So we will try to understand first what are the various options we have in basic sorting, which includes uh, sorting in the ascending order and sorting in the descending order. Once that is done, we will take you through uh, multi-level sorting. What is this and what kind of application we have when it comes to multi-level sorting? What kind of a problems in Microsoft Excel could be solved using multi-level sorting? And then at the third stage, we will try to learn about custom order sorting. So each of them have a different kind of application. We will try to understand these concepts by taking a data set which is called as employee data set of a company with the following fields. The fields you can see on the screen starting from employee ID, employee name, department, age, salary of the employee, city where the employee is currently working, what kind of experience the employee has put up, when the employee has joined the company and then status of the employee at the moment. Status could include uh, there are employees who have resigned who are in the notice period and employees who took leave or employees who are active. When I say active, these are those employees who are currently working and then who are present in the office. And people on leave are people who have taken leave. They are not resigned employees, but they took leave. And when I say resign, people who have already resigned, probably serving the notice period and will be leaving the organization anytime. So this is how the employee data set look like. This is just a sample data set. Uh, we, we are going to work on the data set where we have the data of 1000 employees. This is for your practice. I'll also be sharing this data set in the description of the video. You will be able to download the data set and then you can also practice the same way. Then when it comes to basic sorting, I have made some few questions which we should be able to solve based on these particular questions through this data set that we have. So three, these three questions we'll try to solve and as we solve the questions, we should be able to have hands on with options in basic sorting and in a similar way. For the multi-level sorting, we have got two questions that for practice and in custom order sorting, we'll have more two questions. So by solving these seven questions, we should be able to learn sorting in Microsoft Excel. Now, without any delay, I'll directly take you through the Excel window where we'll try to solve these things. So this is how your data set look like. If you just scroll down quickly, you can see that there are thousand employees data now you see this e1999 is an employee id which doesn't represent this uh, you know serial number you see that i am in row number 1001 so if i exclude the heading row where we have we have the column names if i exclude that there are thousand records of the employees and this is my employee data set now the next thing is where do we get this option called sorting now sorting can be done in multiple stages. You have this option at multiple places in Microsoft Excel. Now if you look at the home tab itself, if you go at the editing group, there is something called a sort and filter. Here, here you can get sorting. So before applying for sorting, we should ensure to know ourselves for which column we are applying sorting. I repeat, if you are applying sorting on the data set, computer doesn't understand by itself. Especially when you are doing basic level sorting, computer does not understand itself for which column you are applying sorting. For example, I wanted to sort name, entire name column into ascending order, which means my names of my employees would be sorted through alphabetically from A to Z. If that is the criteria, I should ensure my cursor is lying on the column on which I am performing the sorting. Say if I am putting my cursor on age, then what will it happen? 
my age column will be sorted whether it is ascending order or it is in the descending order if I have to do in the ascending order I have to click on A to Z if I have to click on if I have to get on the descending order then I have to click on Z to A let me quickly show you the first question we will try to solve so what is the first question sort the data set in the ascending order of salary so what do they want they wanted the sorting to be done on the salary column so I have put my you see I have put my cursor on the salary column then I went to a sort and filter option here then they wanted ascending order which means it is sort A to Z which is lowest to highest click on that quickly now you see that the data has been refreshed and the entire sorting of the data has been done so if you see here 25,395 is the first value which, which is here which is the lowest value when I say the data is sorted in the ascending order which means the data is sorted from lowest to highest so by this data set the first value which is on the top would be considered as the lowest value and if I go to the bottom the data which I have here is the highest value so what is the highest value here it's 1,19,972 this is a salary which Mr. Stefani Jones is receiving on a monthly basis and the lowest salary is 25,395 which Mr. Diana or Miss Diana Fletcher is earning from the finance department you just completely see the question number one again sort the data set in ascending order of salary which has already been done and then the continuing question is what is the salary of lowest paid employee now the lowest paid employee salary is always the lowest salary is on the top when you have started in the ascending order and that's 25,395 and the employee name is Diana Fletcher on a lighter note it is very surprising to see his age is 59 and at age of 59 his salary is very less and there are people with lesser age but earning a better salary so it could be because of the designations that would have so we don't have a designation column in the data set otherwise it would have made a much bigger sense any which ways we are trying to understand how the sorting has been performed and we have done the sorting through ascending order at the moment now I'll quickly take you through the second question where we'll talk about sort the data set in descending order of experience now experience is the column you can see I'm there in G column where experience is presented so I have put my cursor on the G column I've clicked on the G column cell and now I have to sort this in the descending order which means highest to lowest that means employee with the highest experience will be on the top and employee with the lowest experience will be in the bottom so I'll just go again sort and filter I'm sure now you know which option should be clicked on I have to go to sort through Z to A yeah click on Z to A now you see that experience has been sorted now I'm in the descending order which means my first value will be with the top experience which is now here 35 years of experience which is by Joshua and if I go down I have somebody with one years of experience which is for Christopher James yeah so what is the question continuing here who is the most experienced employee here by looking at the data we can clearly say the most experienced employee is Joshua Champman right so that's your question two question three sort the data based on joining date now right away on the H column I have joining date and I have to sort the data on the joining date from earliest to latest yeah earliest to latest which means again this is in the ascending order or a descending order it is you have to get into earliest and you have to go to the latest what is this order considered to be is it ascending order or is it descending order what do you think it is You want to try click try with ascending order click what is 2015 
we are starting with 2015-25th is it latest or it is oldest if you want to understand go at the end you see 2025 10th June and what we have in the beginning 2015 25th June 2015 to 2025 so you are getting it oldest to latest which means we have done it wrong so what we have to do we have to do earliest to latest is it correct are we on the right page sort the data based on joining date from earliest to latest ideally the oldest should be on the top and the latest should be on the bottom so this means we are on the right path so the oldest 2015 data the joining date 2015 is on the top and the latest joining date in the bottom so we have sorted it with the oldest joiners to the latest joiners so we have done it through ascending order so these three first three questions helps you understand how a basic sorting is done just by clicking on the relevant column on which you are performing sorting going to the editing group of home tab click on to the sort and filter option select appropriately whether you want to go with ascending sorting or a descending type of sorting when i say ascending type of sorting i'm talking about lowest to highest when i'm talking about descending sort of sorting i'm talking about highest to lowest i'm sure you should have learned the basic sorting and in my next video i'll take you through the multi-level sorting and the custom order sorting also thank you